Hello there everybody and welcome back again to another Teaching Tips with me, Sally Kapka. Now, one of the joys of having a repertoire-rich teaching studio for me is that it, it makes me look all the time for new repertoire that I find that is going to be um, engaging and motivating for our students. And for our students themselves, um, finding these pieces that we know are going to be within their reach, they're going to be easy winners, and yet that are going to be slightly on the, just slightly challenging, just ever so slightly. Um, the thing about having regular pieces that are coming in to play is that it helps them to feel like musicians and it helps them to feel like pianists as well on a really regular basis. In other words, they can see what the piece and they can hear what the piece should be like and they know they're going to get there in a couple of weeks. That is incredibly motivating. Do not underestimate the motivational fact in, I think I can play this piece, especially if it is something that is really attractive to their ears and they can get their head around understanding it. So today I've been looking around a little bit because I'm about to do this very thing. I've been thinking, okay, what can I give to some of my students in an hour's time when I start to teach them? And um, I'm gonna share with you one of the composers I find particularly rewarding in this, and that is um, Chi Hua Tan. Now, her music is lovely. It's well known at the moment. It's a, one of her pieces, The Swing, is a grade one piece for ABRSM. And it, the swing actually comes from a, a, a collection called Through the Window Paint. It's all published by Piano Safari. And I know that some of my pupils have already got this book. And I was thinking, OK, what other pieces can we explore from this? And I, this is not one I've ever taught before, but I shall be doing it. And it's called Looking Glass River. So have a little listen to the very opening of this. about it. I like the fact that it uses the piano to create an atmosphere. It's reflecting, literally, the looking glass river. Uh, I like the movement across the keyboard, and yet it's highly patterned because what we're doing there are fifths, obviously, and that's how I would teach it. And it could be a rote piece, could easily be taught by rote a lot of this, or it could just as easily be taught with the student working out what the notation is. Lots of teaching points to come out of it, you know, the, the use of fifths here to create this open feel and expansiveness, the, the, the movement, lovely use of keyboard geography, you know, they've got to know where their hands are going here. And again, don't underestimate how challenging that can be. And then the piece in itself, it's creating the character of the music as well, with the crescendo to the top and the diminuendo. So it's not technically terribly hard. There are a couple of challenges there, obviously. But it immediately gives the student a sense of ownership, a sense of being musical. And you can really help them to refine their play. So they don't just gallop up there, you know, with their, with their hobnail boots on. We're not wanting that. We're wanting them to get that mood, to breathe with the music, to glide smoothly. This morning in the ready to play group about significance in simplicity and with all the uh, Kodai type songs and little folk songs and things that's exactly what it's about and it, it happens here as well there is real significance in simplicity we can learn as much through simplicity as through the hardest technical things we can learn to be uh, help our students be really really super musical in this and how to shape a phrase and how to really listen to make sure that they create this beautiful line of the music. So that's what I should be doing this afternoon, is I'm gonna be sharing one of the, or two of these pieces with some of my students. I've got some more music as well to find for some other students. 
but looking for this simplicity that is the easy winner because it actually engages them musically in the whole process. That's the end of my musings for today. Thank you to all of you who are out there and listening. And I can even see some comments, which I might just go and read. Anastasia, thank you. Okay, thank you, Anastasia. She's saying thank you for introducing me to this piece. It is, it's very beautiful. All right, have fun. Lots of teaching happiness. Bye-bye.